So let me show you some of this touch screen and how it's done. And two things. If you believe me, say wow. And if you don't believe me, go later on to this notebook, try it, touch it, and then tell me wow. What do we have over here? Because I believe this is something that we actually we stretch it another level, right? Sure. So this, again, is the same Intel concept uh, uh, Ultrabook. This one actually is running Windows 8, and it also has sensors. Everyone's used to sensors. You must let me so, do it, although I didn't practice it. Okay. okay? I, so we I'll, have here, I'll, I'll let you pick it up and do it. So we've got a sensor that we added to the Ultrabook. So first of all, when you need to speak a location, it will not ask you where you are and you need to put your address. You, your address, it will be done automatically. But more than that, if I take it, and I believe it's Google Earth, I can navigate it and use all the great compute power that you've got in i5 and i core, and I'm not sure that many other things will be able to deliver such an application, and at the same time, enjoy both worlds. So we can see over here, and again, if you'll be able to try it later on, how the sensors are working with these ultrabooks, and I can see already people asking cynical, yes, but this is a clamshell, so let me promise you two things. First of all, it's very comfortable to do it with a clamshell. It's beautiful. But some of the systems are going to be clamshells like this. It's a base. But if you would like to do it, you'll have it as a tablet. Thank you, guys. By the way, this section, did you hear what they just said? But what you can see over here is the way that and you'll see many of those. We call it sliders or convertibles. We just open it, we took it, and then we can take the compute power that we've got in a core processor and use all the greatness that we can do on a PC. But if you want to do it as a tablet, you can have your tablet with you, and then you can have the touch that you have seen, you can have the sensors, although my personal belief is that people will use touchscreen with their Ultrabook, even in a clamshell, and people will use the sensors and after a few weeks that you use it, you'll be surprised. You, you will not be able to do anything without it. So what you see over here is the Ultrabooks, and we've got it on Microsoft Windows 8, that you all have seen the tiles, and it will run even better. So the first example was an Ultrabook with Windows 7, and once we are working with Microsoft on Windows 8, we'll be able to get even better experience and having the tile experience with the rest of the applications. The other thing I would like to share with you is the Nikishki. Nikishki sounds like a very strange name, I agree. This was a concept that the guys in our lab thought about, and I disclosed it in Computex. And what I showed is, this Nikishki, this is how it looks like. Let me go on stage so people will be able to see it. And the idea was the following. It's an ultrabook that you can type everything in a normal way. But over here, we've got a touchpad that you can move the mouth using the touchpad. But the interesting thing is that when you are on the go, you can close the kishki. The touchpad is transparent. Let me show you how it's transparent. Can you see my finger? Yeah. It's transparent. And you can see the data that you know, need. What is my next meeting? Did I get an email? And when you've got something urgent, you don't need to go immediately to your phone or to tap it to another device, you'll have it on the go. So you'll be able to enjoy both worlds. A very powerful notebook, but when you're on the go, you'll have all your data with you. 